Poland has an extraordinary history, which, which is not enough, um, not, <laughs> not well known outside of Poland, I think. Um, um, and the, the literature obviously reflects that. Um, it also transcends it as well. It, it's not tied uh, narrowly to it. And I, I think um, the, there's a huge amount that non-Polish readers would gain from the reading poets like Lutmitskiewicz or Kochanowski or Norwid. These are universal writers, they're, they're not narrowly Polish writers. And I think they, they belong to the um, world literature and should be as well known as you know, the great poets of France or Italy or, or, or Germany. Mitskiewicz, of course, um, who, is, who I'm lucky to have a rather lovely edition from Novogrudek from 1932. And, and he's, he is um, sublime, Mitskiewicz. Um, my Polish is probably not really good enough to, to um, fully appreciate him, but I'm, I'm trying slowly to, uh, to read some of him. And simply on Norwid, who I have in a bilingual edition, which makes it a little easier. And he's quite unique, the Norvid. That's an extraordinary poet. I have a, um, a particular interest in, in the culture and languages and literature of, of Central Europe. It's both a, a literary interest and um, also um, a historical interest in, in the books as documents of, of history, of um, different periods of history, and the physical book itself with, with its, um, um, its, um, its own history of its provenance. Holding in your, in your hand a book that, was, that you know was owned by some, some interesting historical figure, and you're, you're, um, that gives you a direct connection to the, uh, to the past. I think that's very precious. Mm -hmm.